Hey, what is going on guys? You have an iPad, any iPad, and you have an issue with charging, okay? When you plug it in, maybe it doesn't charge at all. Maybe it charges on and off, then on and off. Or maybe it will charge up to a certain point, like 20%, and it won't go above. Anyways, I'm gonna give you a bunch of solutions to get you up and running right now, okay? As long as your battery is not actually defective or your charging port is not defective, okay? So several things that several things we're going to do here. Okay, so first thing you got to confirm is with your cable here. So your charging cable here, you have to make sure that the charging cable is good. Okay, so go ahead and plug in your uh, your iPad if you have any issues with it. Pl go ahead and use the uh, same Lightning cable and plug it into like another iPad or even another iPhone and see if you have any issues with the other device or just simply change cables. Another thing too is. Sometimes it's an issue with the USB port. So like right here, I might want to go ahead and change it to another one here. Same thing if you on your computer, okay? If you have it in one USB port, you may want to go ahead and switch it to another USB port. If you have one of these laying around and you're using a uh, wall brick here, what you want to do is, first thing is you have to make sure that it's plugged in all the way, okay? So you can't have it three quarters in the way like this. You have to make sure that it's all the way in, just like that. And the same thing, for the lightning port connector too, is you, you have to make sure that it is plugged in all the way. Now the thing is, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't go in all the way if you have like a huge lint ball in there, which I'll show you in one second how to get that out. Now another possibility too is even if you're using a brick here, of course it could be an issue with the brick, okay? What you can do is you have another one laying around your house, go ahead and try a different one. Another thing is too, is when you have it plugged into your, like your wall socket and you're, and you're having your issues, what you can also try to do is simply change to another socket, okay? Now, after we confirm the cable's good, the charging adapter, and the outlet or the USB port, once we confirm that's all good, the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and grab your iPad here, and I have some tools here, as you can see. And it doesn't matter which order that we're gonna use these in, okay? So, for example, let me just go ahead and start off with a toothpick here. So I have a toothpick here, it's a wooden toothpick, uh, you can use a plastic too. It's not recommended to use anything metal. Anyways, what you want to do is go to your charging port like this, grab your toothpick, and what you want to do is you kind of want to go inside and you kind of want to try to pry out if there's any kind of like lint, dust, or debris. Kind of keep going out like that. And a lot of times you guys do have lint in here. What's going to happen is, I mean, you're going to get a like a little fuzzball in there. Sometimes you get like a huge... Um, like it's very, just, just a, a ball, just a whole lint ball. Okay, so just constantly keep doing this like this. And also you wanna blow into it. If you have compressed air, you can do that as well, but I've never used it. I've just always blew it in here. And I've always had no issues using these tools here, okay? Anyways, blow it in a couple times. Go ahead and try to see if you can get any kind of lint out here. And then go ahead and plug in your iPad, and then see if you're having issues, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do here is, if you're still having trouble, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get a toothbrush. Now, it's a possibility that um, you, may, you may have something in there that's sticky. Maybe like uh, hand lotion got in there, or um, oils from your fingers, or maybe a, a little bit of coffee stain might be in there, or soda or something like that. So grab yourself a toothbrush and put the whiskers right in, and then you want to go ahead and try to brush it out like this. Get the whiskers in there. Move it around. Blow it in again. Now go ahead and plug in your iPad and hopefully you're up and running. Now the thing is now, I also have here, I have a metal paper clip. Now the thing is, I, you know, you're not supposed to use metal on metal. I don't really recommend it. However, I can say that there's times where I tried the uh, toothpick method, nothing came out. I tried the toothbrush method, it still didn't work. And then when I, for some reason, when I went in there with the metal paper clip, I went in there just a little bit, and for some reason just started working. So I just went in here very gently Kind of just play with it. And guys, remember, I'm not responsible if anything happens, okay? And also remember, you should not use metal to metal, okay? Anyways, I've always had um, good success with these when the toothpick and the toothbrush wouldn't work. Again, for some reason, not sure why, but <laughs> the uh, the metal paperclip works as well, or it has worked in the past, okay? 
do that, give it a blow. Then go ahead and charge your iPad and hopefully you have no charging issues. You're up and running. Okay, so if you're still having issues, the next thing I want you to do is this. What I want you to do with your iPad is I want you to go ahead and force it to restart, okay? Now, depending on what kind of iPad you have, okay, for instance, this iPad here has a physical home button and to do a forced restart on this one, it's gonna be different opposed to um, one that doesn't have a uh, physical home button. Anyways, we're gonna start off with this one here. It's very easy to do. You're not gonna erase anything off the iPad or anything. Okay, so again, we're gonna start off with the uh, iPad that has a physical home button, okay? It's two buttons that you wanna press and hold simultaneously. You wanna press and hold two buttons until we see the Apple logo. The two buttons for the iPad with the physical home button is the home button and the power button. You wanna press and hold both of these buttons at the same time, continue to hold, do not let go until we see the Apple logo, okay? So we're gonna do this together, ready? Home button, power button, ready? One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. Do not let go. I'm still holding on both buttons, power button and the home physical home button. I'm still holding. I'm not going to let go. Waiting for the Apple logo. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. And then from here, go ahead and once it boots back up, go ahead and plug in your um, your iPad. See if there's any charging issues. Now there still is. And the next thing I want you to do is go through the entire video again. Okay, start off with all the little tools. Okay. Now the thing is, if you have an iPad that doesn't have the physical uh, home button, like the newer ones, the iPad Pros and whatnot. So I don't have an iPad Pro, but I have a uh, iPhone uh, 11 Pro here. And it's pretty much the same thing, okay? Because you don't have a home button here. So if you have a iPad Pro that doesn't have like a physical home button, what you wanna do is this. You wanna press the volume up, volume down, and then you wanna press and hold the power button until the Apple logo comes on, okay? Now this is a, uh, like I said, this is an iPhone here, so I have the volume rockers on the left side up here and the uh, power button here. On your iPad, it's gonna be more like, probably here, the volume rocker is gonna be the right-hand side and the uh, power button is gonna be up, okay? Anyways, so what we wanna do is, again, with the iPads that don't have a physical home button, you wanna press the volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button, okay? So we'll do this together on this phone here. Remember, the iPads with, uh, with doesn't have a physical home button. Uh, the buttons may be in, in, in reverse, okay? Anyways, ready? Volume up, volume down, power. Press and hold the power button, do not let go. I'm still holding on to that power button. I'm not gonna let go until I see that Apple logo appear. Still waiting. I'm still holding on to the power button here. Waiting for an Apple logo to pop up. There it is. I can let go and hopefully you guys are up and running. So once it's booted back up, plug in your phone and see if it is charging or is having no charging issues. If it's still having charging issues, then I want you to watch the video again and do the same thing, everything over again, okay? Because there's several times where I had a issue with uh, charging, uh, sometimes that it, it wouldn't even charge and I went through this like three or four times every single step and it finally started working. Anyways, any questions? Comment below, let me know what step worked for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.